Hello everyone, it is Rosenquartz here and welcome to another speed build by yours truly. So today we are building a restaurant type thing. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I actually have set this as a restaurant, but the basically the purpose of this build is it's a bed and breakfast. So I thought I, um, I had an idea of doing this for a while now, but it was just one of those things where I didn't I didn't know how to really kind of do it and like with kind of what um, the options in which um, The Sims 4 gives you and um, I really want to do it anyways even if it's not like necessarily functional and I thought you know what it's kind of it would be cute to set it up as a restaurant anyways so um, that's what I decided to do. Um, I don't know if you could really like use this as like a build to kind of um, you know like own versus as in like a place to visit. I think it would be better off as a place to visit so you can get a restaurant and you could or you could have vacation there if you set it as a residential home. But um yeah, I thought it would be like you'd actually see staff if you had the restaurant function. So that's kind of where my thought process was. I think if you decided to use this build, um you could do whatever you wanted. Like um I, I would like to try it out in just a couple of different ways to see how it works, but I thought in, it made sense in my head to have it as a restaurant. But <laughs> um, I don't know if it would exactly work. But right now we're just building the, like the main outer bit of the house. This is more of like a Victorian type house, and to be honest, I have I've done Victorian houses before, but I've never liked my Victorian houses. <laughs> I don't know. I just I think it's one of those things where like. You know everyone has like those skills and certain things that they can build and certain things that they can't build. And I think for me, Victorian houses might be one of them. Um, I think just out of like a personal opinion, just because like there's some build builders who do theirs like really, really nice. And I feel like mine are kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. Like I'm always like, I don't know, for me this particular build seemed a little blocky and it didn't seem as like the way I exactly wanted it. But I think as like, um, it all looks out looks really nice in the end and I'm actually pretty proud of myself for it but it was sort of one of those builds where I was like I was trying to I was kind of making it up as I went along <laughs> and just went with whatever like aesthetically pleased me at the moment and so that's why there's a lot of different shapes kind of going on and there's a lot of changes that I kind of make just to make things seem a little bit nicer than um, kind of what I had before and also it was more of like an experimental build too and that's why this build took me so long and that's why this is a two-parter surprise this is a two-parter um <laughs> I didn't expect to do um another two-parter for a long time but um I really like this build and this build just took me a really long time to do it wasn't supposed to be this big but that's just what happens I start building things and then I just go insane and then I end up building something like really massive and that takes me like several hours so I split this up into two kind of portions so this is the like exterior um, of the house although I do it a, a little bit of the interior um, at the very end I just didn't feel like cutting that bit out um, and leaving it to the next part um, but the next part will be the entire interior and I will sort of talk about how I wanted all the rooms and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, this is sort of, you know, it's just a fun big build to do and that's why this build is going to be so long. I thought about speeding it up even faster just so it's like a quick thing because I, I do like doing short builds but I just don't, I just don't do those short builds. <laughs> but um. It actually does work out in the end for me because if you follow me on Twitter, you probably already know, but um, I actually have my grandpa coming down um, to where I live and um, I haven't seen him in like a really, really long time. Like I think it's been like four or five years or something like that. And anyways, I don't want to really like weird him out with me playing The Sims all the time. So I really want to do a lot of like pre-planned builds. So um, that while he's here and while we're doing a lot of like fun vacation kind of stuff because I'm not going to be home a lot. Um, and I'm probably going to be too tired to want to build, <laughs> but um, I thought it would just be nice to have like everything kind of done in advance. And so having a two-parter kind of really works out for me because that means I have more videos to put up for you guys, more content, even though I'm not like the best with content at the moment, things just kind of come whenever, whenever I get the chance. <laughs> 
but um, I am trying to keep up with like a regular schedule. It like I, I my goal is to get about like three videos a week. Um, even though they don't really fit um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of schedule, it's more of um, I always end up getting it up one on Tuesday, and then whenever I can get it in by the end of the week. So um, that's what ends up happening. But um, I hope you guys can forgive me for my irregularness. But it that's just what happens. And um, as I said, I think in no, I don't think I said in my last build, but um, um, I think I said it on Twitter or something like that. But I plan on getting a new mic soon, so I'm really hoping that I might actually be able to do let's plays with you guys, which is really exciting because I don't want to use my particular microphone that I'm already using just because it makes. Um, I move around a lot, like I'm already like I talk with my hands, so like my hands are kind of flying around in the air, and um, it's kind of hard to do that in like play and with my microphone moving around because it's a headset um, versus something that's a standalone. And I also have the money to buy one, so it's not like I'm unable to. I work a lot. I feel like I deserve to have nice things, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's kind of like what's going on with me. I hope to um, get another microphone so I can start doing less plays with you guys. And I thought that would be really fun to do. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing like a dine out inspired one, uh, just because it's out and it would be just fun to do kind of one like that and do. Um, Actually, if you guys have the Sims Amino app, um, which I also do, if you want to find me, I am at Rosen Quartz, and I'll have all that stuff down below in um, my uh, little description box, so you can find me there. But um, actually, someone posted uh, like a like a legacy challenge for it almost, and of owning like a dine out inspired one, and I really actually want to do it. I think it actually sounds like a lot of fun. I don't remember the particular person's name, but when I decide to, when I, whenever I do it or if I do it, I will put the name in and I will let you know sort of what's kind of happening, what the rules are. Um, they're not like really, really strict rules, so I don't think it'll be a big deal if, um, like to follow them or anything like that um, but yeah it's super exciting and I really I really like the the challenge for it because I've been waiting for challenges because I'm not good at coming up with my own challenges <laughs> I thought about maybe doing like a rags to riches kind of thing but then I was like I was like I don't know I want to kind of do something a little bit different and um, that not like well, obviously a lot of YouTubers are doing a lot of dine out stuff, but I want to do something that's very me and that's comfortable for me. And um, I feel like being able to have the opportunity to do um, kind of a slightly different kind of series um, that suits me a little bit more would be a lot of fun. And I thought it'd be a, little, a lot of fun for you guys as well. Because, um, so you're not seeing the same sort of like legacy challenge all the time. And even though that particular challenge that I looked at is a legacy challenge, but um, there's sort of like strict rules of what you can do with your children and all that sort of stuff. And I think it's really, really cool. And um, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to do it. Um, but that will be in the future. Um, I'm hoping to get the mic this week. But um, I make no promises. I'm, I don't know. It, it depends on if it's in store. And I thought about ordering it online, but it's like, they say it's in store, and I don't want to spend an extra like fifteen dollars for shipping if I can just go to Best Buy and just get one. So <laughs> um, I'm hoping it also has like um, a ringer or shock sound thingy. That would be nice as well, just because I live next to a highway, so everything's pretty loud around here. But, <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of what's been going on with me. Um, so right now, um, most of the house is shaping up here. I'm doing a lot of the details with the paneling and stuff like that. Um, I've changed up a lot of the doors. I do lots of different kinds of windows. I was having a little bit of trouble with those poles. A lot of them are very uneven, and that just has a lot to do with the fences. There's, like, a certain way that the fences kind of go, and I just sort of... I hated how there was like little poles like on its own so I just sort of threw a pole on top of those because it just it bothered me <laughs> and um, so a lot of it's uneven and it actually like really irritates me um, I, I just decided to just sort of leave it like that because I was like I, I, I just I was having so frustrated with dealing with it and I just didn't want to deal with it anymore and here's another thing that I decided to do just because it was sort of little like very square so I decided just to throw in um just to like um, even out the edges a little bit just so it doesn't look so square and I fixed a little bit of the roofing to make it a little bit nicer as well but um, yeah it's a cute little like bed and breakfast um, some of the um, things that are about this particular build is that there's uh, how many bedrooms are there okay so there's two 
There's four um, bed and breakfast bedrooms, so they all have their kind of their different kind of um, design to it, which I'll talk about in the next part. And um, there's like a kitchen. There's like um, a little huge dining space so everyone can eat together. Um, there's an office for the host and stuff like that. And um, I wanted to throw in a little bit of like other stuff, but I thought it was getting a little bit too big. For example, having like a break room, having like a few other things, like even having like a spa in the basement because it is like a getaway kind of thing. It's a little, I don't know. <laughs> um, I've never been to like a bed and breakfast, so this was kind of by, inspired by like what I think a bed and breakfast would look like. Or if I had a bed and breakfast, this is how I would have it function. Obviously, the houses are not this big when it comes to bed and breakfasts, but um, I, I'm more of a go big or go home kind of person. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, if you're going to have this, you might as well have a, an incredibly luxurious one. And I thought it would be really fun to just kind of go all out, do a really like fancy kind of bed and breakfast. And um, I don't know how it exactly like functions, like I've said before. I thought about, um, like, I don't know if you can, you know how you can take your Sims on a vacation, right? Well, I'm, I was thinking that like, if you sent your sim on vacation here with a whole bunch of a group of friends with them, um, then you could have them all living in sort of their like separate rooms and stuff like that, and all of their like kind of different little spaces and whatnot, and um, all that fun kind of jazz, and yeah. <laughs> but um, oh, I'm trying to think of like other things to talk about. But oh my goodness, <laughs> there's so many things that like, uh, I keep losing my train of thought. I don't even know, but we're just, we're working on the pool here. We're getting a little bit of stuff done on there. We're working on a bit of the backyard and I'm sort of separating everything into kind of, um, you know, having the outdoor lounge space because this is a bed and breakfast and I put down, um, like blue marble kind of um, flooring because I thought that would be really cool to have like sort of a blue kind of thing and I thought about doing that pathway as well but I end up like removing it immediately after I have it just because I was like I don't know it just it looked kind of bad and I just I didn't like I don't I'm not too much of a fan of like formal pathways there's some like simmers that just do it like really really well in a way that I actually like but when I do it myself I'm like meh uh, it could be like, I don't know. There's just a certain way that I like to have everything even. And so when other simmers do it, I'm like, oh, that looks really nice. But when I do it, I'm like, this is uneven and I can't handle this. <laughs> so I decided to just separate the yard into two, like kind of like um, two separate spaces. So you have the staff has that little garden area and their own sort of separate area, which is for them. Yeah, and so I'm just doing little like details like around, um, the outside just putting in like dirt and putting in like um you know just to give it a little bit of texture a little bit of detail to give it a little bit of depth and stuff like that and um I do like change a little bit of things just because some things are just they're nice but they're not nice and you know the usual um I don't do like a crazy amount of landscaping like I could have done more but I decided not to and so here's where I'm just making a little bit of like a branding um, and just putting all that sort of stuff outside there and um, yeah so um, but yeah I think it's a, a cute little like kind of thing that you can have and I think um, you can I, I think you can definitely role play this a lot better than you can like actually have it function you know like I would really love um, if there was something within The Sims where you can actually like um, sort of run like a hotel or something like that or run like um, sort of like a vacation spot or something like that and make a business out of renting beds out and stuff like that and having like all these sort of like random sims like coming through your house all the time I don't know for some reason that really intrigues me I, I guess like I don't know how that would function in the sense of like actually like programming that because you'd have to have so many sims on the lot not to mention if every time you load in it would have to load those other sims in even though you only have like eight spaces so for example if you had all eight sims like in your household and you had all these other sims that were like living in there that are not within your household I don't know how that would particularly work other than inviting them to live with them if that makes any sense although you could have things function like a party 
but I don't particularly know how that would work. <laughs> I don't know. I think about these things a lot. I'm like, how would you be able to get something like this within The Sims so that I can play with The Sims like that? But um, I don't know. I don't play too much of gameplay any more than I do builds, so I don't think that I can really be the gameplay expert. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just kind of what my kind of thought process around having like a bed and breakfast kind of would be and um yeah I don't know I, I don't know how like to get it to like properly function I haven't really actually like played in it to really know um in this particular lot I mean I sort of just finished building it and I went I was like huh we're done <laughs> because this took me like an entire afternoon like um um, and two days, like two days, um, two separate afternoons. Like this actually, like I think this is like five hours of footage. It's actually a really long build, um, even for me. Um, I think I said like one of my other builds was even longer, but um, yeah, sometimes I just, I didn't want to like take it like too far. It was supposed to be a lot tinier than this. It wasn't supposed to be this big, but um, I think in the end having all that for floor space kind of make things better. Because I was able to have all these really big luxurious rooms. Although I did have a little bit of trouble with like layout. Um, I'm really terrible with like laying out rooms. I don't know what it is. Like I have ideas of how I want rooms to be. And how I want them in my head. And it's trying to get it to actually work within the space. Or having it um. Or like f making things fit to the space. Or like you know how you can't get your ideas to properly like fit into with way the way the things actually work. Well that's how I feel about <laughs> this house. Because I really wanted the um, rooms to function in a certain way. And I wasn't able to give all the balconies to all the rooms. and um, Which kind of bothered me. But I didn't want to... Um, make the rooms smaller or weirder shaped for the sake of just having the balcony attached to a particular room so i decided to have like um cheaper rooms and doing things certain ways and even though i didn't get to throw in like a spa or anything like that or having a, like a relaxation kind of room or like a playroom or something like that i decided that if you're gonna actually um vacation at this house or um visit this house as like a restaurant um like you could probably go into the beds and sleep in them you could probably do whatever you wanted and still play pretend in a way and you can also like remove your sims um simoleons yourself and have them come out of your um your family house for like say you're there for the weekend as a vacation or something like that you can have that come out of your household funds by taking it away through cheats and stuff like that but um I think I got a little off track about what I was saying, but um, yeah, I want to have a little bit more like like playrooms and stuff like that. And I thought about throwing in a basement, but I was like, this is already a huge build, and I don't want to start making it worse <laughs> by uh, throwing in like a basement and trying to fit in like basement stairs and stuff like that. And um, yeah, <laughs> and um, so I throw in sort of like. Um, just a little things to give it a little bit of like um, a feeling of that this is a bed and breakfast by putting in an office and making it seem like it's um, it's right next to the entryway. So you'll actually see me build it within this video, which is actually nice. So uh, you'll be able to see the host station being put in and then having um, it's to like replicate like an office to make it seem like this is actually like a functioning restaurant and. Um, I figured, like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that any of that makes sense, but um, I really hope that it functions in the way that I would think so in my head, but um, yeah, I really want to have this, like, giant, like, grand entryway as well, and um, it, the grand entryway sort of uh, changed the way that I wanted um, some of the rooms to be, for example, like, um, I don't know. I, I feel like the, the rooms and the layouts could have been a little bit better, but I'm not the best at layouting, like doing layouts and stuff like that. I really wish I was a lot better at like making rooms look a little bit nicer. And I think there's different ways that you could have done things, but yeah, <laughs> I'm not the best at it. I like the I don't really plan rooms in advance. I just sort of like do the outside first, and then I come inside and I'm like, ah, I've got all of this space that I don't know what to do with. <laughs> But, um, there is a little bit of, um, a guest kind of, like, 
uh, game room or playroom in a way. It's um, that one little room to the right there of the second floor. And um, I put in like a like a desk and stuff like that. And just to, just to give it um, this house a little bit more areas where people can actually do things other than just stay here for the weekend. But you also get served meals and stuff like that. So it does like function. So there's this still that aspect of pretend. And I feel like that you can really get that now with um, the restaurant um the new restaurant pack so that you can make these sort of like pretend spaces and which is really fun instead of just doing like regular restaurants and um yeah i, I have a few um i don't know if i want to continue making more restaurants i have um actually a few more ideas for like um a bar and a cafe and stuff like that and so i want to try maybe doing some of those but we'll see i'm more of i like to building houses and i think that's where i really got to be able to do I was really able to do that with this particular build so it's still technically a restaurant but it's a house build at the same time so it's um yeah it's it's a pretty pretty big build and um I definitely for my next build I really want to do something shorter something not as um crazy as this particular build just simply because of the fact that like the layout isn't exactly how I wanted it to be and um and I know that um, you guys tend to like uh, shorter builds, not ones that are like 25 minutes like this one is, but um, I don't know. I kind of like really long builds just because I actually like listening to a lot of YouTubers talk. I don't know what what that is about me, <laughs> but um, I, I just like hearing like YouTubers ramble on and I think it's really nice to have that distraction, that sort of voices. If you're, if you're like me who doesn't have like a lot of people around during the day, um, it's nice to hear kind of voices sometimes, you know, like hearing like kind of noises. It's kind of like um, when you listen to non-English, oh, excuse me, non-English music, for example, like it's like you're hearing voices, but you're not, you don't have to like actually like work hard and listen, if that makes any sense, you know, like um, I like to listen to like a lot of like, um, sort of I, well I listen to like playlists of like kind of like foreign music and stuff like that so like I'll listen to like French music and there was this one time where I was really into like Bollywood like musical music <laughs> and I, I listened to it like non-stop while I was studying just because it was it was nice to hear voices but not actually have to hear um, like you know how your brain really like, processes um, languages and you you then hear it and it's not a distraction versus the way um a language you don't know and um it's weird study tip <laughs> if you like to hear background noise but you don't actually want to hear people talk here's a good tip <laughs> but um i don't know that's just me not to mention like um uh i don't know i'm trying to think of like other like kind of like foreign non-english music like um on occasion, I'll listen to K-pop or and stuff like that, um, but that was more of a thing I was interested in when I was in high school, um, just because at the time it was like brand new thing that you didn't know about, and <laughs> and um, I don't even know who like the big K-pop people are anymore. Like, is Shiny still a thing? I don't know. Who knows anymore? <laughs> but. Um, Oh, what all other music I like to listen to? Did I say I like to listen to like sort of like French music and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, I, I really like like kind of like French music, like the really soft kind of stuff, you know, um, like sort of I don't know how to describe it, almost like um, kind of like a Parisian kind of like soft. It's like indie music, but not. I don't know. I'm not good with music genres. <laughs> So I'm probably useless at these things, but um, we're actually getting very very close to the end here So I should probably stop rambling about Whatever and actually do some promotions. Yay. It's everyone's favorite part of the video. So <laughs> I've actually got like a sticky note right here And I have it like right beside my computer screen and I'm like remember to say these things in every video because I never remember but feel free to like this video down below because that would be nice <laughs> and feel free to subscribe to my channel and see more videos by me if you would like to um i also have a twitter and instagram and i also have a tumblr um i don't really use my 
um, Instagram all that much, but I am active on my Tumblr and my Twitter. And basically, if you want to know when my next videos are going to be coming up, you will see that on my Twitter. And if you want to know more about my builds, that'll be all on my Tumblr. Um, some of my builds aren't up, all up there yet, but um, I'm doing my best. <laughs> but um, it'll just show like all the different kinds of like um, stuff about my builds and all that sort of stuff. And my Twitter, you can just keep up to date and you can be able to message me and contact me if you have any like questions or any have any ideas or just, just to talk to me, which is fine. And I also have a Sims Amino if you would like to contact me there because sometimes I will um, show off my builds kind of there as well. Um, also, I just like seeing everyone's like posts and stuff like that, which is always fun. And uh, yeah. <laughs> So those those are my all my self promotions are done so you don't have to worry about that um, there are no screenshots or anything but it's okay <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later bye bye everyone.